Throughout April, advocates fight to raise awareness for two different types of abuse. First News at Nine's Dashiell Menzel tells us how one organization in La Crosse is doing their part through ribbons. April is both Sexual Assault Awareness Month and Child Abuse Prevention Month. Manager of New Horizons Shelter and Outreach Centers, Ann Kapoff, says both types of abuse affect a lot of people. One in five women will experience um, an attempted rape or a completed rape at some point in their lifetime. One in seven children will experience um, abuse at some point in their lifetime. New Horizons employees and volunteers were out this morning tying ribbons on the trees along Main Street to spread awareness to those that see them. Typically it's one blue ribbon and then one teal ribbon because the concurring months, right, the all happening within April, but we want to bring that awareness so that people see those ribbons and they're like, hmm, what are those ribbons? I don't know if they've never seen them before. If they have seen them before, they realize again, yes, April is is the Sexual Assault Awareness Month and Child Abuse Prevention Month. To prevent child abuse, Kapoff says people should be on the lookout for common signs and listen to children. I always believe a child. If you see a child coming to you at daycare or, or work or um, school and that child has bruises or it says, I have a secret to tell you, believe them. Kapoff says even bystanders can help victims of sexual assault as well. Be great bystanders. If you see something happening and if it's safe for you, step in. If it's not safe for you, call law enforcement. Don't leave your friends. If you've gone out drinking, don't leave them. Stay with them. Make sure they have a safe ride home. Kapov hopes the ribbons can provide an early start to bringing awareness for both sexual assault and child abuse. In La Crosse, Dasha Menzel, First News at 9. Thanks, Dasha. La Crosse Mayor Mitch Reynolds will make a proclamation about abuse tomorrow. And later this month, the city will also participate in Denim Day, a day where people are encouraged to wear denim in hopes to combat victim blaming and educate others about sexual violence.